Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys to part 38 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 6, the randomized edition. It's time for chapter 15, the Dragon Girl, also known as Percy Hype! Percy Hype! Percy Hype! Yeah, I agree, it's there too, but no one cares, because Percy Hype! Actually, you get three characters on this map, which is kind of weird. Fire Emblem 6 kind of goes a long, long, long time without giving you anything, and then suddenly, like, a BAM! A bunch of characters appear in the same chapter. It's pretty weird. Anyway, so the units that we need to bring for this chapter is sadly we need to bring two completely useless ones. Uh, well, three with Roy. Chad, Lou, Fear, Clarine, Sue, Rutger, Klein, Alan, Lotch. And I also have to bring Elfin and Lelina because we need them both to recruit some characters. So Astor and Walt's gonna have to take a break. I'm sorry guys, the bar train actually had to put on its brakes right now. So we only have Clarine. But Clarine is a bar train in her own right, so it's fine. Um... So yeah, this is the chapter where Klein will become obsolete, I guess you could say. He's still gonna become pretty alright though. He, Klein is not bad, come on. He, he's still a decent off healer, it's just that the character that appears in this fucking chapter is gonna wreck fucking Havoc compared to him. So yeah, this chapter is kinda weird. It's designed in such a way that you can just drop off your characters over the mountains with a flyer and just kill the boss, which is uh, Roy, by the way. Here's Wraith, also known as uh, Hitler Paladin, or Paladin Hitler. As some people have called him. He does he though he does lack the mustache. Yeah, this this boss was bad in the vanilla Fire Emblem 6 as well. I never understood that this boss. He's just a really subpar paladin. And he's no better as a Great Lord. I gotta say the Great Lord is such a shitty class. It's like a fucking bad version of a Swordmaster, which is already a bad class. It's like a Swordmaster without the added critical. Uh, it's kind of tanky at the very least, with a lot of defense, but I kind of wish that the randomizer put in an option to always include a ranged weapon on a boss. Like, this guy could have at least had a light brand in addition to his silver blade, so he could attack at range. Instead, I can just chip away at him with a magic unit. Yeah, say hello, Percival experience. But yeah, this chapter is kind of nice. It's uh, it's a nice breather from the Arcadia chapter. Uh, it does feature some Valkyries, though, which have capped speed in our caliber. Yikes. Uh, some pretty nasty pre-promotes. And he's also gonna uh, throw a whole shit ton of reinforcements at you. However, I do like to, uh, to enforce the drop tactic, which, uh, which, which works well for me at the very least. We don't really need to save. Anyway. So, a Master Lord boss. Oh, Douglas is a general, apparently, so he did not get randomized. I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed when classes don't get randomized. I wish there was a way to always run. Are you fucking kidding me? I agree this is- <laughs> What? Alright, I might as well take a look at her. She's hot, at the very least. Not as hot as the other blonde uh, babe uh, in the in the next game, but she 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 she's alright. Uh, following the trend of gorgeous blonde archers. So yeah, I agree. She is, uh, well, not a very good unit in my book. Because Klein is there, and Klein just obsoletes her, at least in the vanilla version. Um, yeah, what can you say about I Green? She's alright, her base stats are decent. Um, she's a nice sniper if you need one. And she's definitely a lot better than Dorothy and Walt, that's for sure. But her growths are alright, I guess, for a pre-promote. 35% in speed and strength is decent. But yeah, I don't like her. Uh, she, <laughs> She's very mad. Uh, she has a killer bow at the very least, that's nice. However, the one that we have all been waiting for... This is Percival. You can you can just look at his hit points and already know that this is a fantastic unit. Now, with his hard mode bonuses fully intact, let's take a look at him. Percy Hype! Percy Hype! Well, Percy Hype! <laughs> wow! He is level 5, he is lower than Klein, and he is better than Klein in every single aspect. 21 fucking base speed, ladies and gentlemen. 22 fucking base magic. I mean, does this guy have better stats than Pence? I think this guy has better stats than Pence. I have to fucking do a comparison post-production because holy fucking shit, this guy. I mean, Percival is, is by far the best character in all of Fire Emblem 6. Maybe aside from Marcus in the Valino version, because Marcus is... Like, in terms of usefulness, I, I find Marcus to be a lot better on hard mode. In the, in the fact that he can carry you through the most difficult part of the game. But in terms of a unit that, that joins strong and stays strong, Percival just fucking obsolete every single Cavalier in the game. Alan and Lance are good because they can support with each other and carry you through the early game. But nothing fucking... 
fuck, <laughs> nothing fucking compares to this guy. And that's a sage, I dare say he's even better. Because, I mean, just look at his fucking, not only does he hit like a truck and will double most of the enemies, but he also has 15 fucking defense and 47 hit points as a sage. This guy can take abuse. And the thing about Percival, which is so fucking ridiculous, is that his growth rates aren't even that bad for a Preeper mode. I mean, yeah, sure, they're low compared to other units, but 30% magic and 35% speed means he will most likely cap both of those stats. Uh, so this guy will be a very nice addition to my team, and uh, Klein is probably going to be <laughs> reduced to an off-healer at this point. I'm still going to feel Klein for the most part, I think. Nothing wrong with running with two Sages, particularly when you don't need to give them Guiding Wings. But yeah, recruiting Klein is pretty fucking easy. You just move Elfin up, and uh, that pretty much just takes care of him, since he can on the next turn just move up and talk to him. So, However, this guy's a pain. You don't want this guy to start killing your Cavaliers, because of course these guys turn green, and I don't think they have hard mode bonuses. I'm pretty. Do they have hard? I, they might have hard mode bonuses actually. For level 14, let's compare. Uh, 42 hit points. Actually, I do think that these guys have hard mode bonuses. They're one of the few green units that needs to be rescued that actually come with hard mode bonuses, which is a nice touch. But they still die pretty easily, so you don't want this guy to come anywhere close to them. Which is why I'm using Sue like this. Just, yeah, I've equipped her with the Thunder Tome because I plan to give that to Percival. And I'm going to move Lot up to secure the kill, so to say. Well, secure the kill with Lot may not be as easy as it sounds, but still. And I'm just going to move in Rutger. We do need to move a little bit right here. Reason being, um, it, it can kind of get a little bit nasty if you don't clear out any of these enemies because Percival's units will suicide into them. Which can be a little bit scary, so. Uh, let's see, yeah, and Lilina, of course, we gotta take care of her. Also, I'm gonna visit this village with Chad. That's a very good reason why I'm gonna visit it with Chad, because you get your fucking Divine in this village. And while Divine isn't fantastic in Fire Emblem 6, it literally only has 3 more mites and 10 less hits. It's still okay, I mean, it's still extra damage, right? So we're just gonna drop this Lighting Tome right here, send it to Merlinus. I still like Klein. He's alright. He's just a little slow. Let's not beat the guy up, shall we? Also, this is this map kind of features uh, music we haven't heard in quite a while, but a music that I, I still really haven't gotten a chance to miss, truth be told. Uh, it's, un it's under an open sky, I think it's called, isn't it? Under the Great Plains or whatever, what, something along those lines. 24 fucking damage. Lovely. Oh, doesn't Ellen get doubled anymore? Wait a minute, what? Uh, she has four more points of speed. Oh, he gets slowed down by steel swords. Ah, clever, clever. Clever, clever, clever. Alright, that means we can take a shot at him with Ellen, which is nice, I guess. So if this guy weren't carrying a steel sword, he would have doubled Ellen, which is why we badly need to get Ellen to level speed. I'm not sure if you get... I think you get one more pair of speed wings. Um... I'm not really sure, but I think you might get a pair of... Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, a lot of people have been have been pointing out in the comment section. Ah, oh, fuck, I just let that guy move into a forest tile. Ugh. A lot of people have been pointing out that I should have trained Tate instead of Ellen. And I, I wholeheartedly agree. Tate would have been such a better choice. I actually really, really hate the fact that I, uh, that I picked Ellen. Because Tate would have capped speed and magic for sure. She she also has hard mode bonuses. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But hey, what can you do? I've invested a Guiding Ring and a Body Ring into her now. It's not like I'm going to bench her now. Also, that Valkyrie is a problem. That Valkyrie is a big problem. I don't like that Valkyrie at all. Uh, maybe I can just Divine this fucker. That would be nice. Let's divine this fucker. Let's check out our fucking new divine. Divine! Chad. There you go. Divine is not particularly accurate. I should probably save it, shouldn't I? Also, while Roy doesn't get any experience, we might as well uh, help out a little bit with this archer. Because he's kind of nasty. But Roy gets doubled by everything on this map, so we gotta be very, very, very careful. Anyway, this is kind of where Lot comes in. I'm not sure if he has to... Uh, actually, he, he kind of sucks, doesn't he? But yeah, let's recruit Percival. 
that turns this unit screen. If I had Clarine up here, I could have could have helped out a lot. All right. Well, uh, I think it might be time to bring forth the Brave Bow and see if we can. Yep, that's good. I think I'm gonna have to dance for fear and use her to kill the Vyvern because Lot is actually. Ah, I hate to say it, but Lot's turning obsolete. I mean, he's been a pretty good unit for most of the uh, LP, but God, is he starting to lose his shine right now? I mean, he struggles doing damage to unpromoted Wyverns, for God's sake. He, he, if he had, like, a couple extra points in strength and speed, he would have started to become pretty good, but... I don't know. It's... It's not looking good for our boy, I'm afraid. Also, this guy just needs to die, which is why I'm using the Brave Bow. That Brave Bow has been so fucking valuable. And so has this little girl right here. Speed and luck. That's my girl. Fear is capped strength, I do believe, yeah. Hope she caps speed as speed as well. I'm, she probably will. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do something very funny. And I'm, we're going to, of course... Have we turned on Percy's animations? We should turn on Percy's animations. Turn on our Green's animations as well. I'm going to dump Percy off on this peak right here. And he's going to use this fucking peak right here. To wreak havoc upon these guys. Because in the peak, he'll have like, what, 90, 100 avoidance? Which is pretty fucking sick. So let's drop a thunder on him and let's pick him up. And we're gonna drop him off next turn. And he should be able to kill all of these guys. And we get to see Percy hype in action. Um, let's see, this guy doesn't kill Rutger, does he? 25 speed. Uh, no, he doesn't. Because we really need to kill this guy, that's for sure. I'm really glad I have a lot of sword weavers. That's, that's one of the things I really like. Alright, can we kill this archer? We should be able to. Uh, it's actually not looking that great. We can kill him with Lou. That works, I guess. Should have used my axe, but it's fine. I need to level up my axe skill. Alright, that's that that works. Um so we don't want this guy to be to come close to Ellen. Let's see, how much damage does this guy do to Alan? 29. Can I check? Uh, I could just move in here and, and equip an Osferatu. I could do that. I mean, Ellen has like 18 fucking resistance. She should be able to handle yeah, 11 times 2. That's completely fine. Chad is going to be fine too. We just need to be careful with Lelina and we should be fine. Uh, Lalum is safe as well. Can, oh, I was like, Klein can heal this guy, but no, he can't. And Klein still has a decent support with Clarine, mind you. That is also something that makes Klein good. I I don't, uh, I don't think Percy supports with any of my dudes, does he? No. I know he supports with, nice. <laughs> I know he supports with Douglas, Elfin, and Cecilia, and I also think he supports with Lalum. Um... Who else does he support with? I actually can't remember. Oh, fucking hell. I just realized this Valkyrie is now in a forest tile, which is gonna make it insanely hard to bring down. I didn't quite think about that, did I? No, I didn't. However, this I did think about. So we're gonna drop off... Maybe we should drop him off closer. To the uh, edge right here. Could do. You could drop him off here, I suppose. Like so. Yeah, this this guy is gonna become a problem, isn't he? I might just need to silence him. Thirty-seven percent chance to hit. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I guess you are not kidding me right now. All right, we need to we need to utilize the Lou. I think Lou, Lou with the Durandal maybe might be able to do something here. If we can get Chad in, um, then we should be able to uh, to help. We can bring Chad in and heal up uh, Rutger maybe, because the Chad support helps out a lot in terms of the hits. 
So maybe with a killing edge, 64% would be nice to bring in Alan. Ah, Alan is already here. Um, could use the Durandal maybe. Works. Oh, you little fuck. You little fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to do that again. Alright, come on, Lou. There you go. Alright, so maybe, just maybe, Rutger's gonna be able to, to finish it off with an Armands. 44-5% chance. The Armands is really fucking accurate, but I don't really want to use it. I feel like... Uh... 35%... I guess I have to, don't I? But it didn't help. Ah, it didn't help at fucking all, did it? Ah! Jesus! Jesus! Do I just bait I green here? I don't know. I kind of feel like that's that would be bad. Uh. Alright, let's pick up uh, Lalum, because... We, we could pick up Lalum, but then pick her off again, if you know what I mean. Because um, I feel like I have to heal up Ellen, and at the same time I want to heal up... Uh, Oh, this is gonna be tricky. If he goes for Ellen, I have a problem. Actually, I really don't. Let's instead uh, switch over. Let's see what kind of weapons these guys have. Steel Lance, Horse Slayer, Steel Lance. That's, it's not that bad. Swap over to the Killing Edge. As long as she has, she has the Nosferatu, she should be just fine. The Javelin is heavy. The Cavalier won't double me with him. Chad's kind of out in the open, which is kind of scary, but... I mean, I could just position myself in the forest and hope he goes for I Green, but I Green will die, and I prefer to keep that Killer Bow. I do prefer to keep that Killer Bow. And I prefer to keep the Lelina as well. Ba 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 da 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 So fucking f terrified of this uh you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it Shit I wasted a killer ballista on garbage. Uh Elfin, I don't remember if reinforcements show up on this map. I don't think they do. Oh yeah, here's Garrett. The, this is the reason why I brought Lelina, and he's a dark mage or druid. <laughs> Wow, uh, that's actually kind of cool. Also, I was ready to see Percival tear shit up. Should have switched over his, to his Thunder Tome, because that would have killed these guys. But yeah, this is Percival, everyone. Say hello to best unit in Fire Emblem. By a long shot, really. I mean, he fucking just owns these guys. Holy fuck. <laughs> you, could probably, you could just kill the boss. Straight up. He could just fucking kill the boss. Now, these mercenaries do kind of block off their friends, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah. Don't slay my horse. Also, I really shouldn't be wasting this Divine Tome. I should swap over. Hello. Someone wants to die. <laughs> And uh, no, okay. Rutger is in a good mood today. You get to live for another day. Maybe if I do enough damage to them, maybe, just maybe, the Valkyrie will heal instead of doing damage. Ah. Anyway, this is the, the sniper. 39% chance to hit Percival. Good job, sniper. But of course, Percival doesn't double this guy because he's not a fucking deity. It's just a demigod, you know? Hello. Goodbye. I have the fucking Durando. Or as I used to call it when I was a little kid, the Durandal. Yeah. Say hello to... Okay. Ah! Ha! Ah, he did! Ha ah, ah. ha! Oh, I found the Valkyrie's weakness. Just do damage to scrubby units next to them. However, we need to be really careful now because the green units are about to go... Uh, 
to go jihad on these guys. We really, really don't want them to do that. Alright, um... So... Let's kill the units we can kill. I don't want to attack the sniper in fear of getting retaliated upon. Um... Let's just kill this guy. Let's use the Thunder Tome, because the Thunder Tome is cool. I really like the Thunder Tome. It has a built-in crit on it, has more mites, a little bit less hit, but not that much. Actually, does it have built-in crit in Fire Emblem 6? These are the small details that I always forget. Uh, it does have 5 crits, so that's nice. 5 crit may not sound like much, but it helps. I don't think we need to use the Durandal for this. The Valkyrie moved out of the forest, so... He is now proper, or she is now properly killable, because the Valkyries are actually females in, in enemy format, at any rate. Yeah, this sniper is scary, but not that scary. We can easily use the Steel Axe in this scenario. We don't need to waste our Killer Axe. But we should stick to the forests. We should really stick to the forest, because the sniper is scary. Although we might want to swap over to the... We might want to swap over to the Sword Killer, now that I think about it. Yeah. Um. Oh! We didn't check out Garen! Hey, here's Garen! Oh my god, he has an unlock stop and an Eclipse Tome. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. I really needed an Eclipse Tome. Thank you. Oh, wow! I gotta say, for, like, this guy is basically Nima. I mean... He has almost cap magic. You can't really compete with that now, can you? Or, like, well, you can't compete with it, but can you can't argue with that. I mean, the reason why Nima is good is because she joins with A rank in staves and, and has almost cap magic, so she can, like, warp units halfway across the map. Um, his speed will make him difficult to use, but, yeah, and his speed growth of 25% isn't fantastic either. I mean, his growths are all really bad, aside from his magic growth, of course, which which makes sure he will cap magic at the very least. I mean, he's slower than Ellen, which, which says a lot. Um, I don't know. I mean, he has fucking beastly hit points, though. I might use him. We'll see. See? We'll see. Another Dark Mage might not be such a bad idea. Anyway, we need we need to do something about these fuckers right here. Uh, we need to do, do something about them, like, yesterday. Um, we can move Chad, and we can lightning this guy. Chad's so fucking dodgy, he doesn't even need forests. Well, this is kind of where I'm a little- oh, nice. This is kind of where I'm a little bit bothered by the fact that, um, I don't have any hand axes. Because that would have been really nice just about now. Like, really fucking nice. Also, we gotta move Alan away from the sniper, because the sniper is gonna absolutely own her. Oh, nice. What the fuck? Getting doubled by Lot? What is this shit? I guess the horse layer is really heavy. Could I have that horse layer? I'd really fucking love that horse layer. Alright, well. Ah, I should have given that kill to Alan. What was I thinking? Oh, you know what? If Garrett becomes better, I don't think he's gonna become better, guys. I really don't think he's gonna become better. Alright, so let's see. 16 speed. Uh, he actually doesn't double her, which is kind of funny. That is actually kind of funny. We really need to prevent these um, green units from suiciding, though. That's super important. Also, of course. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we need to fucking get over here. I think we need to, to warp Sue or something. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to warp Sue or do something to save this village right here. What we could do, which would be hilarious, would we could we could warp Lena to visit the village and recruit Garrett. That would be. Or we could we could warp Lelina, recruit Garrett's, have Lelina killed because we don't need her anymore, and have Garrett visit the village. Which would be even more insane. That would actually be really fucking cool to do. This would also be cool, but it would also be suicide. Sue should really get some healing. Also, I'm forgetting about Alphen and 
Honestly, I don't think there's a reason to remember him. But yeah, we need to do this. Oh, hey, that's my Eclipse Tome. <laughs> Garrett looks kind of fucking awesome, actually. You know what? He looks pretty fucking cool. I didn't see him, but he looked like a fucking yellow dark mage. Like Pac-Man or something shitty like that. I don't know. Also, I should have kept my sword. Never mind. <laughs> Rutger goes, fuck you. Fuck the weapon triangle. I'm going home. All right, he's not, he's not going home, actually. He's, he's killing more dudes. But, speaking of killing more dudes, Orsival, I don't think he doubles these guys, though, because all mercenaries at this point have capped speed, so you need 24 speed to double them. I don't think anyone in my army has 24 speed. I'd like it if they had 24 speed, but sadly they don't. Also, I really hope I've done my math correctly on that sniper. 19 speed, 6... No, he shouldn't double Alan. He really should not double Alan. He has three more speeds. Three more points of speed. Almost fucking one-shots her, though. Please don't be wrong. Please no Manx math. Please no Manx math. Don't double. Okay, I, I, was, I, was, I was right. Manx math did not occur. Thank God. This guy, on the other hand. Ugh. All right, we might have to use the physics staff on this guy. Might have to use the fucking physics staff. Problem is, won't Garrett die against all these guys? I'm kind of starting to think that might happen. Unless I place him on a floor or something. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that will have to continue in the next part. I will be making a long cut. Very long cut. A one day cut, in fact. 24 hours, starting from this point. Uh, so super long cuts until the next episode, guys. So please consider leaving a like and a comment. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Love you all. Goodbye. Fuckers!